This documentary is simply a warning about Hartford Insurance, which I will call Heartlessford Insurance. This is related to the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that was diagnosed in uh, August of 2015. As soon as I knew what was happening and that I would at least be temporarily incapacitated, I let people know. I had been the one gathering the premiums from employees' paychecks at the El Dorado to be remitted to Hartford for short-term disability insurance. I took my job very seriously and made sure that employees were be being deducted the correct amounts to cover the insurance that they had opted for and that reconciling the GL account was to ensure that we paid the company what was due. That's why what they ended up doing to me was not just a little surprising, but pretty disturbing. Here's the story. Hartford Insurance processed a claim for me based on the date of the diagnosis. The Human Resources Department said I was the one who had given them that date, but I didn't recall it and there was never any supporting documentation to prove it. What happened at work was that I was given a great deal of flexibility and mobility to continue to work after my brain surgery and while the extremely intense chemo sessions were taking place. Please uh, view my videos called Documentary of the Gifts of the Holy Spirit with a test at the end and also the addendum to the Documentary of the Gifts of the Holy Spirit for complete details. I worked from home. I received a rejection letter from Hartford for my short-term disability claim because of the date issue. I repeatedly tried to tell them that I was working through the end of December 2015 and please start it in 2016 for the claim. I asked for this after I realized I just couldn't keep working any longer and my doctors agreed with me. In trying to get them the information they were requesting, there was one lost document after another. I had to write appeal after appeal letter with no help from anyone else, really. My doctors were trying to supply them with the information that stated I really couldn't go back to work in 2016. Even the Social Security Administration accepted that date and were faithful in keeping their promise, but not Hartford. In my opinion, they used the HIPAA laws to keep information hidden and keep the claim from being honored and paid. As you can see from the stack of papers, it was a long and hard process. Their phone messages say that they care. Well, they care about their bottom line, but not about you. If your claim is authentic and legitimate, just keep pressing on. Be the squeaky wheel that finally gets oiled. After finally getting the date issue resolved, they ended up sending me money, but they also ended up sending me an incorrect W-2 for 2016 taxes. They showed the money that they had finally agreed to pay me as taxable income they had their amount in the wrong box. Once again, I had to fight and fight and fight to get it resolved. Once again, I was almost on my own in the battle. There was one person in the Human Resources Department that stood up for me, but my friends there did not. It took months for Hartford to finally send out a corrected W-2, which is called a W-2C, and I found out that it was the same person who had handled, or rather mishandled, my claim that messed up the data for the W-2. Her supervisor called after I finally got the right information as to whom had made the mistake, but there never was an apology. So in summary, make sure that Hartford or any other insurance company have the correct dates logged. Make sure if the employer doesn't pay a single penny for your premiums, your payroll deductions, that the payments are not listed as taxable income in box one of your W-2 and make sure someone listens to you. Lastly, if someone demeans you for trying to fight for what is right, just pass along to them this little Pope kiss.